before we look in the new stuff, let's look at the stuff that's already changed in this new snapshot. We are in 18W10D and there is a lot of new stuff and a lot of change stuff. So the first change thing is now the trident occupies only one slot in the inventory space. Before it used to occupy two spaces, but now they have fixed that. The second thing that they have changed is the phantom. If we spawn them, they burn in daylight as so. So, now they are like zombies and skeletons. It's pretty interesting. And now that we've looked at the new change bits, I think we have to look at the part we've all been waiting for. If I just spin around behind me and hope that it doesn't lag. Coral reefs. Coral reefs, along with tropical fish, just like this, have now been added and each individual coral color has their own texture. So pink has like this cobblestone retexture kind of thing. Purple's like these spots. Uh, blue is kind of like these little sucky sucker thingies. And then the yellow one kind of look reminds me of like yellow prismarine. I don't know about you. And they've also added coral plants just like that. And there's a d bunch of different colors and they're all different like the new coral blocks and these blocks also come in different dead forms so if I take all these different colors and get through the lag of this world and head to the island as you can see they all come in different dead variants so you could use this for like some terraforming like for caves i guess especially the dead pink coral because it kind of looks like a really cool more detailed cobblestone so enough of coral let's look at the new fish so the new tropical fish you can find them in warm oceans and in lukewarm oceans and maybe in cold oceans i think you can find them everywhere so here's some tropical fish here they come in two models actually I'm pretty sure it's two models. So the first model is this just regular rectangular prism model right here. And the second model, if we go over here, is the one where it's square and it's completely flat, just like these ones. So if we go above the ground and we go back to our little island and we spawn some tropical fish and hope that some of them die because they actually drop clownfish so we just wait a bit and hope that none of them go into the water soon enough you might see some clownfish dropping oh there's one right there one of them died and they drop clownfish so the rest of them are also dying so they're probably going to change the clownfish and rename it to tro tropical fish so that's pretty interesting. Another thing they've added to the oceans is like new ocean transition kind of thing. So if I stand in here, right now I am in a lukewarm ocean and as you can see it looks a light blue color but as soon as I go into this cold ocean, as you can see it gets a bit darker because it's colder. So let's go back up. And as the sun is setting across the horizon, we'll go over the final feature, which you can find in survival once they add it on treasure maps. And that feature is buried treasures. So if I do slash locate, as you can see, there's a new one on the top, buried treasure, in bright yellow. So we enter that command. We click these coordinates and enter again. And I've already uncovered this buried treasure just to check if it was real because it's pretty unbelievable of what was inside it. So usually you find buried treasures like it was actually like that when I saw it first. It would usually be one to two blocks below the surface and if we open it we find gold and iron and fish and we found some prismarine crystals. So they usually contain ingots. In some cases, they've contained emeralds and diamonds. And I think almost every time you'll get like a form of cooked fish. Well, at least every time I've checked. 
So I hope you enjoyed this new snapshot feature video and these coral reefs, I'm pretty excited for them to come out. So hope you enjoyed this video, goodbye.